Pritchard is getting a little help from the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency in their policing efforts. Mayor Troy Ephraim says they have troopers on loan to help in hot spot areas. News 5's Ashley Knight spoke with him, and she has more. It's a story you'll see only on News 5. Pritchard isn't the richest of cities, so it makes sense that they've asked for help when it comes to fighting crime. We're doing everything and we can, but until more money comes in, we have what we have. So the smart thing to do is to reach out and get the support and help that you can get to address the current problem that we have, and it's coming across real well right now. Pritchard is getting help from the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. They can't say how many troopers, but did say two detachments are on loan. But we're in the third phase of what we've been trying to do as far as omnipresence and some of our more sensitive areas in our communities where we know crime is habitually taking over some of the neighborhoods and being a problem that we really need more resources and manpower and really more intel. Troopers will be helping out with that intel along with patrolling and serving warrants. And this extra help actually comes at the perfect time. We're right around the corner from holiday season, which is a peak time for crime. Pritchard has about 46 police officers, but they could always use more. Certainly for a city our size, it, it just that's just a demand to have more officers on the street. And while we're slowly getting there, the rate of pay obviously is a deterrent. Uh, we lose officers simply because they go to other municipalities. We're working on that. We've got programs to sort of do homegrown hires. We're not sure how long they'll have this extra help, but we do know the state is picking up the tab, which Ephraim says is an even bigger help. You have a good day. In Pritchard, Ashley Knight, News 5. Pritchard is also getting officers on loan from the U.S. Marshal's Office and a couple from Mobile's Narcotics Unit.